Slovakia Chronicles, a podcast of information, news and much more of our beloved Slovakia. By Andrea Paolo Mazzucchetti. It's me! Let's start! Hello everyone! Welcome to the 23rd episode of the Slovakia Chronicle podcast. This week we enter officially in autumn, and of course it will start the most scary period for everyone in 2020, the possible second wave of coronavirus. If it will happen, and by the latest news, unfortunately seems it will, again we will go through all the crazy moments that we experienced in the first part of the year. Lockdowns, closed border and all possible conveniences that characterize this historical period without precedents. The only hope at this point seems to wait for the vaccine, but at the actual status there are not many hopes to have it one ready in the short period. So what we can do is to be always informed about what is happening in our beloved country. But not only, because what will be decided in the other nation will have effects also in our lives. Ah, my dear globalization! That is why I decided to dedicate this episode in making a recap about what is happening so far in Europe and how our country and the neighbor ones are reacting especially in a matter that could also affect us people living in Slovakia, the free movement measures. Let's start our trip acknowledging the scenario of the second wave mentioned in the last report of the World Health Organization. The director Hans Kluge reported that more than the half of the European country had reported an increase of the cases more than 10% in the last two weeks. He then pointed out that in the spring and early summer we were able to see the impact of the strict measures adopted. Our effort, our sacrifices have paid off. In June the cases reached an all-time low. The number of diffusion of the COVID-19 in September, however, should serve as a wake-up call for all of us. Although these numbers reflect better testing capacity, they also show alarming transmission rates across the region. In total in Europe, there were 4,893,000 cases of COVID-19 and 226,000 deaths. Heavy numbers, which tell only part of the story, the impact on our mental health, on our economies and on our society has been enormous. As for age, although we have seen an increase in cases among the older age groups, 50-64 and 65-79 years. In the first week of September, the largest percentage is still between 25-49 years. To add again this bad scenario, the Slovak government created a new traffic light for travelers that came into force on 19 September, indicating the riskness of the country of the world based on the relative epidemiological situations. Depending on the colors shown in the map that I will attach in the description of this episode, red and green, the country are considered more or less safe due to the risk of the coronavirus infection for those who intend to travel abroad. The yellow dots indicate the regions most at risk, although they have located within countries considered less risky. Entry into Slovakia for those coming from green countries does not entail any limitation and the border is freely crossable. In Europe they are still green. Italy, Switzerland, Austria, Germany, United Kingdom, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, the three Baltic states, Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria and Greece. Outside the European Union, Australia, Japan, South Korea, Canada, New Zealand and China are also considered safe. The ranges indicated in yellow, not recommended by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which invite travelers to rethink the need of trip to these areas, are instead indicated in a specific list that you can find again in the description of the episode. And who is returning from a country considered risky? For those who return or enter Slovakia from a red country or have been there in the previous 14 days, there is an obligation to go to home isolation. Before returning, you must register on the coronagov.sk website. If you arrive by plane, landing on the territory of the Slovak Republic, you must fill in the form found on the page of the Ministry of Transport website. The mandatory home quarantine ends after a negative result of the test, carried out no later than 5 days after return or after the 10 days of quarantine. Those who return from a red country but are in possession of the coronavirus negative test done no later than the previous 72 hours can instead freely enter Slovakia without any obligation. 
And what about our neighbor countries? Faced with the war increase of the inflation in Czech Republic, Prime Minister Andrei Babis resisted the mea culpa. On Monday 21 September, he said in a television speech that his government made a serious mistake by easing restrictions aimed to contain the coronavirus during the summer. An error widely shared at the European level, a result in a thousand of new cases of infection, especially in France and Spain. In Great Britain, there is a risk of 49,000 infections by 10 of October and 200 deaths a day by mid-November if the sanitation measures are not strictly respected. I let myself be carried away by the coming summer and the general mood. It was a mistake I don't want to repeat, say the Czech Republic minister. While during the peak of the pandemic in the spring the government made it mandatory to wear a mask outside, most of the measures were lifted on the 1st of June before the summer holidays, and the easing were greater in the Czech Republic than in other European countries, with the abolition of the obligation to wear a mask. The second wave of coronavirus arrived in August. In just three weeks, the total cases doubled. Last Thursday, the Czech Republic recorded 300,130 cases of coronavirus, a record number that almost corresponds to the total number of cases for the entire month of March. It should, however, be noticed that at the time, a smaller amount of tests were carried out. On Monday, the total cases exceed 500,000, up to 24,000 at the end of August. In addition, the reproduction error number, which measures how many people could be infected with a person carrying the virus, reached 1.62. This is a worrying level because it's higher than the attention limit set at 1. The country now ranks second in the European level after Spain in terms of daily cases grow per 100,000 inhabitants. Internal Minister Jack Hamecek said the situation is serious. Experts say that if we receive 120,000 new cases per month, we will start running out of hospital beds. We will do our best to prevent it, he had. Faced with the mounting criticism, Health Minister Lawyer Adam Wojciech announced his resignation on Monday. According to some opposition politicians, however, Wojciech is married the expert goat of the government that has proved inconsistent in managing the epidemiological crisis. In place of the outgoing minister, Babis immediately hired the epidemiologist Roman Primula, who helped coordinate government measures to contain the transmission of the virus and will now be tasked with managing the pandemic crisis. The new health minister said that new restrictive measures are under consideration, such as the suppression of mass events, the closure of the pubs and bars at 10 pm, and the introduction of the distant education in primary schools in the most affected areas. Political and economic factors also come into play. The Czech will soon be called to the polls for regional election. On Monday, the Czech crown hits its lowest point in the last four months against the euro, with a drop of more than 1%. Markets in fibrillation also due to the possible repercussion of the new stricter measures on the economy that has already suffered a record contraction of 11% on the annual basis in the second quarter of the year. Precisely to avoid the blockage of the companies and commercial activities, Babis reiterated in his television speech that the government focuses, above all senses of responsibility of citizens, warmly invited to comply with the anti-Covid measures and wear a mask. I have heard that by not wearing a mask, some citizens want to protest against the government and the government measures. But I would say to these people, do not wear masks for babies, Wojciech, Primula, but for your parents and grandparents, for your loved ones, for your friends and acquaintances, say the primer. Underlined that the virus represents a serious threat, especially for some categories of people. It's the elderly and the sick that we must protect. The mask does not threaten freedom and democracy, but not wearing it threatens your life. Hungary instead closed its border to foreigners as of Tuesday, 1st of September. Hungarian citizens returning to the country from abroad will have to go into quarantine. The exemptions to mandatory quarantine are the following. Military convoy and humanitarian transit, business or diplomatic trips, athletes and sport experts, entrepreneurs in freight transportation and people with a special permission for business activities in the country, students and people attending at christening, wedding and funerals, foreign working in the border areas. Also Ukraine closed its border for foreign from August 29, due to the growth in the coronavirus cases. The ban on the entry will last till October 31 and can be extended if the dynamics will be still negative by that time. 
The exception will be made for foreign nationals with Ukrainian residence permit and members of international and humanitarian missions. Coming to Austria, entry from a country where a stable COVID-19 situation is possible without restriction. The corresponding countries are currently Andorra, Belgium, Denmark, Germany, Estonia, Finland, Greece, France, Ireland, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Monaco, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, San Marino, Switzerland, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, only the Canary Islands, Czech Republic, Hungary, Vatican, United Kingdom and Cyprus. The prerequisite to enter Austria is that the travelers has only resident in the country with a stable COVID-19 situation in the past 10 days and is resident or habitually resident in Austria or in one of these countries. If the person has also been in the other countries within the last 10 days, entry is possible either with a medical certificate confirming a negative test performed within 72 hours prior to the entry or by undergoing a 10 days home quarantine. A confirmation of accommodation must be presented and any cost incurred must be paid by the travelers. Quarantine can be terminated if a test performed during the period is negative. So now I want to conclude this episode with a some advice to how to proceed if you have a suspicion to be infected. Because every time that you will catch a cold now, of course it's easy to panic and think immediately about the worst scenario. So if you are suspected that you have contracted the virus, please stay at home. Do not put other people, patient and doctor under threat by taking a trip to the hospital or the doctor waiting room without a prior phone consultation. It is reasonable to suspect that you have been infected if you have been in touch with a person who tested positive, you have visited a country where the coronavirus is spreading in the last 14 days, you have been in contact with a person who has visited a country where coronavirus is spreading in the last 14 days. If you don't meet any of these points, it's probable that you are suffering from another acute respiratory disease. This illness can be dangerous too and you should not underestimate them. It's better to stay at home and inform your doctor about your symptoms. If you don't meet one of these three amnesis examples mentioned above and symptoms like cough, fever, breathing difficulties, throat, head, joint pain occur within 14 days, stay at home and contact your doctor or your rescue service on the phone. Inform them truthfully about your stay in a risk area and the symptoms that you are suffering from. The doctor will decide how to proceed in your case. With the growing number of infections, the phone lines can be expected to be jammed and you may not be able to reach the doctor immediately. Based on the development so far of the epidemic, it's reasonable to expect most people to recover at home without difficulties. You can apply over-the-counter medicines for the cough and pain. A temperature of 38 degrees Celsius is the detective factor for the transport of a patient suspected of COVID-19 infection. If your temperature is under 38 degrees, remain isolated at home even if you have a positive travel anamnesis. You should keep in touch with your doctor, who should be checked on you every 8 to 12 hours. Do not go to the emergency room or to the office of doctors. If your condition deteriorates and your fever goes over 38, contact the operator of the rescue service, who will turn to the regional hygienist. If needed, they will organize the taking of your sample and test you for infection. Patients suspected of COVID-19 infection will be transported to the infectious disease department under strict preventive measures and will remain hospitalized until the lab test results are returned. The hospital doctor in change can also decide differently due to the limited capacity of the hospital. Samples can also be taken at home and the patient can stay at home if their condition allowed it. The next steps then depends on the test results. The laboratory diagnosis is secured by the National Reference Center for Influenza. Samples should be taken in the first days after you notice the symptoms of a respiratory disease. Earlier testing may be no shown infection because the amount of particles in the non-symptomatic stage of the illness is typically not high enough. This could lead to a false negative result. Be patient when waiting for the result and respect the fact that the laboratory staff are facing a huge amount of samples these days. In the meantime, observe the order of the doctor. And here we are at the end of this long journey in the possible scenario of the second wave of COVID. I really hope it will never happen, but in case it will, 
don't worry, now we are training a bit more on how to handle it and everything is going to be okay. Hopefully. Well, finger crossed. Thank you to be part of the Slovakia Chronicle family and stay safe.